What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today's video is gonna be another installment of our $20 house flip series. At the end of the last episode, which was like two or three videos ago, we left off with $597.98 in the budget. But I also mentioned we were gonna be doing a whatnot show later on that week with everything we found in that video. We did that, sold a total of 35 items for $789, giving us a revenue after fees of $678.25. One. The 35 items we sold in that show were kind of a mixture of things we got at the Goodwill bins mostly, but a couple other things we had left over from previous episodes. We sold a Dooney and Burke purse for $31, a Ralph Lauren purse for $23, a you know, Mario hat for $15, kind of all over the place. That scarf I found in the last video, the one with like the little horse guys all over it, that sold for $8. I feel like that was a pretty good pretty good deal there. The most expensive item I think we sold in the last whatnot show was the white and blue Vera Bradley duffel bag that we found. It had a couple stains on the bottom, but it still sold for $71. So pretty good there. That whatnot show temporarily brought us up to a new total of $1,276.19 in the house flip budget, but we also hired a plumber to kind of finish everything at the house. He installed the kitchen sink, installed the kitchen sink faucet, the dishwasher, as well as tied in the drain of the primary shower to the drain under the house. We're done with plumbing. Everything is plumbed at the house and he did all that for us for only $400, which I feel like was a pretty good deal. And we also spent another $400 on the sink faucet, some P-traps, some more plumbing su supplies, and as well as some more flooring at the flip house. So after everything is said and done, we have a current budget of $476.19. And today we're gonna to take that money to the Goodwill bins to buy even more stuff to sell to keep the flip going. It's a moon dance adventures. But it is a big, big North Face bag. It's pretty cool. Aloe Yoga, it's a really good brand. Aloe, Aloe is almost rivaling Lululemon these days, size large. Like a cropped sweater. Yeah. You guys, look how cool this golf sweater is. It's a Janssen, which we've sold before. Been in China, but we'll grab that. Very cool. And this little leather pouch here. I think it's leather at least. Look at it later. Little, little floral bag here. It's got some like mother of pearl inlay up there, I guess, if it's real. There's a any labels or anything. Let's get it for the booth. So I got two Arctic coolers over here. This one is uh, a nicer brand, but as you can see, the seams have come unglued. So it's basically, basically worthless. However, this one, actually now, this one's super dirty on the inside, and the seam is ripped there too. Just two Arctic coolers that are, that are too damaged to, to save, unfortunately. Got an intimately free people sweater. Got a blue lemon tank top here. Built in padding. Grab that. Some North Face pants here. Youth size. Oakley glasses, I think. Could be wrong. Uh, I, no, I found pants. Oh, you found pants? Yeah, smaller you than this. Thank you, I appreciate that. A little stained. Might come out. Yeah, that was kind. Very kind of him. This one? Yeah, if you got the other one, that'd be great. Oh, that's a real good, Marcy. <laughs> Here. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Yes, Well, this, these are both, there's two oh, pairs because they're both left. Wow. Yes. So oh, it might wow. still be in here. Hmm. There's, yeah, this is for that one. Mm -hmm. That's okay, awesome. that's all I have. If I see it in here. I'm yeah, thank you. See. These are awesome. All right, so I found, just found another Lululemon tank, exactly like the other one, probably in the same size. So they probably can be sold together. Actually, it might be a bathing suit. I don't even know. Do Lululemon make bathing suits? But 
I think the tanks don't do as well, obviously, as the other stuff. And honestly, some of their stuff has been dropping in value. But at the bins, definitely not going to leave that behind. What the heck is this shoe? Strength. <laughs> Never seen anything like that. Look at this. We got a sealed Christmas present. I don't know what that is. Porcelain flower dinner bell. Let's see if that's actually what it is though. Maybe there's something better than that inside. I'm scared to open this. It's literally just trash. Okay. <laughs> that was there's another one. More trash. Empty box. Guys, this is the worst Christmas ever. A couple cool things here, some flower pots. They're kind of heavy, so I might not get this one, but I'll put it in the bag just, just in case. Got this really cool ballerina picture frame, but it's like, it looks like a doily or something in there. It's really interesting. Put that in the booth. A couple more flower pots. Nothing worth too much money, but since it's getting into spring, I feel like those will probably sell for at least a couple bucks in the booth pretty quickly. It's like a cool oyster shell or something like that. You still have a knife on you, dude. Dude, thanks, man. That's cute. A little embroidered back. Some books. Got some. Whatever that is. Deer Barker, one of eighty-nine. This looks like a like a handmade bear. Sugar. Deer Barker, one of eighty-nine. That could be good. I think ADH Dave got a bunch of plush like this. They were handmade. One of them sold for like 150 bucks or something. Is this little makeup bag? Put the other makeup bags inside. It's cute. Some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. This thing is super annoying. We'll get all those. Yeah, this guy. He looks important. Just found this really pretty scarf. It feels nice. I'm trying to find the tag. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's airy. Airy blanket scarf. One sauce. Yeah. I'm gonna grab that. Just found this. Feels like a pretty good material. And it is a Columbia extra large, but it's a dress. Like maybe like a tennis dress, like you know, super sporty, going in the back. Sometimes you just have to dig down to the bottom of the bin because in the beginning everybody's like just throwing stuff everywhere, so they might miss stuff. Just found this Nike sweatshirt. It is a size 2XL. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Maybe like some superficial stains here and there. Yeah. Definitely putting that in my bag. And down here I see a Foot Joy golf shoe. Is this? No, oh, that's a different one. That's an Echo BOA lace. That's good. Both of these are really good. Can we find the other one? That's a different Foot Joy. There's one. Yeah, there's the Echo. Yeah, these are super nice. Actually, pretty clean too for white golf shoes. These are. 47 extra wide, so I think that's like a men's 12 or 13. Let's just make sure the laces work. They do. These BOA laces click to tighten, and then you pull it out and you can loosen it again. Yeah, those work as well. Very nice. These are probably, I don't know, like 70 or 80 dollars used. Really good. Let's see if we can find the other one of these then. Something. Yeah, that's it. Pro SL. These are in good shape. The heel's not bent down. Still plenty of spikes left on the bottom. Yeah, these are really good. Not quite as good as the Echoes, but maybe like 
$40 to $50 on these. I just found a cool True Religion shirt. However, somebody made it into a cardigan <laughs> or something. Literally, they just like cut it in half in the front. Very strange. Here's another one. It's just cut in half. Just found a soft surroundings sweater, some sort, 3XL. Yeah. It's in good condition, no holes. Got a couple different bags and stuff over here. This little like tactical bag, Mojo. Mojo's the brand. It's got zippers, it's got things on the bottom. We always do well with bags like this. People could use them as like first aid kits, just a little part of to keep Mojo medical bags made in the USA. That's actually probably pretty good. People like fill it up with useful stuff, put it in the backseat of their car and just kind of forget about it. Those are always an easy sell. We got some more bags over here. This is like where people put stuff back. So a lot of this stuff is probably damaged. Got a little here, Bradley. Like cinch bag over here. Zipper works, bottom's good. Uh, this has got a little bit of ropes coming undone right there. I figured there's something wrong with it. Got a Lily Pulitzer. Yeah, that's all chewed up by a dog or something. Polo Ralph Lauren, size large, men's size large, in its long sleeves. Got a little pony hit on the front. Nothing too crazy. Might not pick it up if it's just a regular t-shirt, but obviously the long sleeve adds a little bit more value. So, I'll grab it. Back in this area where people put stuff back, I just found this purse. I was like, oh, it's got, I don't know, almost like a houndstooth pattern, but it's like knit, like material or whatever. But it's actually a gear bravo. I didn't know if you're probably made purses like this with like, I don't think it's real leather. Oh, it's actually peeling. I guess this is the reason people keep putting this stuff back. But I did find these two uh, pillows that are in good condition. And they say Sunbrella, so I think they're outdoor like patio furniture things. Uh, and we just got a new patio table set thing. So we're gonna get those for personal use. Somebody just put back this little Ralph Lauren kids hoodie. The, the big pony, size 440, it's got the number on there. I don't know why they put it back. I don't see anything wrong with it. The zipper works. It's the first thing I tested. So I think I'll get this. Super cute. It's got little pockets. I got this Michael Kors like t-shirt dress, size small. The front looks okay. The back looks like it has a little bit of like, where'd it go? Right there. Maybe like some deodorant stains or something. But it's pretty cool. We'll still get it and wash it. See if it'll come out. Our friend Miss Dina just gave us this studded Wilson's leather um, women's jackets, women's extra large. All the studs are in there. Oftentimes with this metal stuff, it like falls off and gets scratchy, but they're all in place. So we'll definitely grab this 100% leather. Feel like we'll just throw that in the booth for, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks or so and just see if we can get it sold. Check this bad boy out. We got a little grabber. We've been wanting one of these for a while so we can get in. I wouldn't have to cut that box open over there if we would have had one of these. Look at there. Very nice. I just have to remember to bring it with us every time we come back now. Okay, you guys, so I've made a decision to put back the pants that that guy gave me, even though it was so, so kind of him. Um, yeah, it just has a lot of stains. But I looked down here and I saw this Vibram. There's just a pair of chocos sitting here. In pretty good condition. Again, like there's like a, maybe a little bit of peel drag there, but they're a women's nine, which is a great size and a good color. Well, just found one singular Rafi. It is made in China. Stitching looks good, so it's probably real. But the odds of actually finding the other one are pretty slim at this point. We're currently uh, looking for the other Rafi that Haley just found. Some cool hunter boots too. I think they're ripped though. No, they're supposed to be like that. These are definitely authentic and in good shape. Uh, hunter boot? Hunter yeah. boot? Yeah. So now we're looking for that so and the Rafi. We gotta, we gotta I'm gonna go ahead and put these in our in our bag just in case. It's not the shoes, but I see a little Cabela bag over here. Just kind of very man, it's kind of dirty on the inside. But it's very similar to that med kit we got earlier. Cabela's. And I think it's also missing a little shoulder strap, so I'm not gonna get that. <laughs> Another Rafi? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Same size, made in China. All right, so we found two. What are the odds that we found two Rothys and neither of them we can find a match to? We got to find at least one match. Hunter oh, boot, okay. It's got to be in here. I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. Look at that Good Pikachu, vibes. Pikachu flip flop right there. Where? At the bottom. 
Oh, oh huge. so cute. Okay, put these in her bags. Okay. I wish I could help. What is that? Is that a flute? Is that a flute? flute? It's heavy. Is that a flute? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Some of these old ones can be made of sterling, too. I don't see a brand. I'm definitely gonna get it. I just don't know if it's sterling or not. But either way, it's definitely worth the probably three dollars we pay for it. Wait, there it is. Yes. Beautiful. No. Beautiful. Two pairs of Rockies, just like that. Haley, I did find one singular flush today. Well, Look birthday cake squish mallow. <laughs> It's not a bin strip without at least one plush. Found a couple more plush and add those in. I also found this earlier. I, a bunch of people have found it and put it back. It's like a vintage camel back. Oh, that's cool. But the bladder itself is disgusting. Like yeah. that looks like a urine sack or something. Oh, so I think I'm not gonna get that and just get this. And maybe you can get like, maybe it's the same size as the other, like the, the new ones. Yeah. You know? Either way, or so make it like add a zipper and like make it into like. Oh, yeah, actually, say, people get creative, yeah. and so they could put like water bottles in there. You could put um, spaghetti. Like you could put spaghetti. You could put chicken nuggets in. No, there. like raw spaghetti. Like For if sure. you're like on the way home from the grocery store and you're like holding all your spaghetti in your hands, just put it in here. I can yeah. hold like three boxes of raw spaghetti. You're right. Oh, Scooby Doo! Scooby Doo! Double Scooby Doo? This is 1999 Scooby Doo with a blanket. Um, it's a, it's a yes. boy blanket. Get it. This is Disney, a, right? Yeah. It's one of the doors. Disney. Up here. I found a. Um, oh, Scooby Doo. Another Scooby Doo. There was an. There. I just had one. Oh, he's got little spots on his back. You found this one. You found. Yeah, yeah. This is Do dopey. Dopey and. That's probably Doc. Doc. Yeah. Okay. Dopey and Doc. So these Scooby Doo's are good. Look at this super like military like tote bag. Here's a matching bear for it. Bag flyer's helmet, nylon. Let's see if the zipper works. It does. Wow. That's awesome. Ooh. Two of them. A that one's a little dirty, but. Oh, no, that's a different one. Oh, this is Disney. A little Mickey Mouse sweater. That's cute. Size small. Celebrate together. Yeah. 82.27. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I realized that I didn't really show the Ninja Turtles I got and all the other figures in the back, so I figured I would take a gander at them here. I don't think there's anything too crazy. They were just kind of interesting. Like this guy's kind of kind of cool looking. Got some other people in here. Don't know who those are. A little hand. <laughs> I don't know whose hand. Maybe that's his hand. I don't know. But I don't know. For you know, like four dollars or however much. Maybe not even that. How much you spend for the for the whole bag? I feel like this is. Probably some profit. I don't think it's a whole set. These guys look maybe like they're a set. This looks different. Maybe these are a set. I don't know. These just don't look as like his band, headband thing doesn't look as detailed as this one. So I don't know. Was it worth three or four dollars? Probably. I was very pleased with the Goodwill Ben's finds in today's video. I know it's hard to tell like how much time passes when we're showing you guys these videos because we edit out a lot of the a lot of the time there. If we're not finding anything, there's no point in showing you the footage. But a lot of the stuff we found today was found after we had already been there for maybe 20 or 30 minutes. And I think a lot of people think you have to get there right and have, you know, first is right in the first couple minutes to get the good stuff. But people skip over stuff all the time. Like literally over over half, maybe even over like 60 or 70% of the things we found today were found after that initial like first 10 to 15, 20 minute rush. Uh, so that makes me feel good if we're ever late to the good old bins in the future But we really appreciate you guys watching this video today I would also really appreciate it if you guys could check out our second channel Haley and I have formed a second channel called Harry Tornado Golf uh, And it's a basically a channel just us filming ourselves playing golf. It's if it sounds boring uh, Don't watch it But if it sounds slightly intriguing if you play golf or if you have any interest at all in seeing us do something other than reselling Definitely check out that channel. I'll have it linked in the description down below. Thank you again for watching today's video. You're the best and we'll catch you on the next one.